Welcome to this video tutorial on how to install Euclid 6 desktop using an installer. In this video a new empty database will be created. Versions of the installer for both Microsoft Windows and Apple Mac OS X are available free of charge from the Euclid website. The only prerequisites are a reasonably powerful computer, the operating system and one and a half gigabytes of free disk space. Full details are given on the Euclid website. Log in to the Euclid website and then download the appropriate package. For example, I have one here downloaded and ready to run under Windows. Launch the installer by double clicking on it. It extracts the software which may take a minute or two. The installer opens. Here we can see that the default installation directory is at the root of the C drive, which requires administrator rights. If you do not have admin rights and or you want to install somewhere else, click on the advanced button here. I will then browse to the location I want and create a new directory for the installation. The directory must be empty. I create a new directory, enter the name Euclid 6, and then click on Save. Check that the directory is stated correctly here and check the various options on this page before clicking on Next. Enter the name of a default legal entity which will be created in the installation. Any text value may be entered. Click on Next. The installation will take a few minutes. When the installation has finished, there are options to create a shortcut on the Windows desktop and to start Euclid 6. I'm going to create the link and start Euclid 6 desktop straight away. Click on Finish. A splash screen is shown during startup. The screen appears briefly but then goes behind any other windows, in this case under the file browser. To see the splash screen, minimize or close the other windows. A progress bar moves from left to right. The first startup of Euclid 6 desktop can take up to 15 minutes, but subsequent startups should take only a few minutes. When Euclid has started fully, the launcher window appears. This must be left open while Euclid is running. Closing it shuts down Euclid. To view the interface of Euclid, click on the button. This opens the web interface in the default browser. This screen is called the dashboard. The address of the interface here can be bookmarked. Access to the most commonly used entities is provided under these clickable panels. Note that this is a fresh installation of Euclid, so the numbers of entities are all zero. To view lists of other types of entity, open the main menu here. To go back to the dashboard, you can always click on the Euclid icon at the top left. You can import Euclid data by dragging and dropping into this area. More than one Euclid file can be imported at the same time by placing them all into a zip archive and then importing the archive. Under this icon, there are links to external sources of information and help. The built-in user manual is accessed from here. 
Thank you for installing Euclid 6 Desktop.